Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. DeepSeek's new image model, Janus Pro. DeepSeek just out. Another blow to AI companies and release a multi model model. Now we have V3 from them along with R1 and Janus. The big question is will they soon to be able to compete with Sora for video generation? I certainly hope so. Let's check out some demos and dive into the details. You can download the models from Hugging Face or try out the demo there. I'll drop a link in the description below. DeepSeek has released a multi-model and image generation models as part of its Janus family of AI models that anyone can use for free. Compared to other LLMs with a similar number of parameters, both stack up very well. As far as evaluating performance for following instructions and benchmarks around that, it also performs very well compared to other models like Stable Diffusion and Dolly 3. DeepSeek released the research paper explaining how they designed the models, how they experimented and trained the models, and a comparison of the results between Janus and Janus Pro. If you want to use these AI models, DeepSeek offers a couple of nice options on their GitHub repo. If you click on the quick start link right here, it brings you to this section and you can click on any of these models to expand the accordion and view the instructions. So you can clone this GitHub repo, but you can also use the AI models as a Gradio app hosted locally on your own laptop or on the web with this link for Hugging Face. If you use the link for Hugging Face, you'll see a nice interface here in the top portion of the app. This is where you can use the multi-model capabilities. Here you can upload an image, use your webcam, or paste an image from the clipboard. And here at the top on the right, this is where you'll ask to model the questions that you have. There are some examples down here. And then if you scroll down further, you'll see the text to image generation portion of the app. But first, let's go through the multi-model capabilities and see how it can understand and analyze images. Let's go ahead and give it some tests. We'll start out on the multi-model understanding. So I've given it a latex formula here in an image and let's just see if it can convert the formula into latex code. There we go. It actually took about like seven seconds. So it's actually pretty fast, contrary to everyone's opinion. Let's go ahead and check if this latex code is correct. So putting it into a latex renderer, you can see we get the original image back. So it's work nicely. Let's try another image and see if it can do some landmark recognition. So I've given it a picture of Eiffel Tower here. And I'll say, where is this and why is it significant? And see if it can identify that. Now, one thing it's worth noting is that the input for the model is only taking images that are 384 pixels by 384 at the moment, which is a bit of a big limitation, especially when it comes to some more complex OCR. But let's go ahead and test. There we go. About 50 seconds on hugging phase after it had acquired a GPU. You can see it's correctly identified that the image is of Eiffel Tower and then it's explained why it's significant as well. So last thing I'm going to test on image input before we get into image generation is going to be its OCR. Can it correctly identify that this text right here says Technique Force? Something you should definitely do. Let's find out. The answer is yes. It's correctly identified that the text in the image says Technique Force. I've tried to give it a bit of a hard example there by using the handwriting. I do imagine that it's going to fail a bit when the text is quite small in the image because as I said, it's only limited to 384 pixels at the moment. But either way, for an open model, it's pretty impressive. Let's move on to image generation now. I'm going to ask it for a cute rabbit running through a field of flowers. So let's go ahead and hit generate image here. Now, while this is generating, I do want to mention that this is actually the part I've seen some skepticism on. It seems like the general opinion is that the image input is impressive, but the image generation is less so. Feeling pretty similar to DALI 3, despite the fact that it outperforms it on benchmarks. Again, it's always worth mentioning this model is under the DeepSeek license, which is essentially anything you want, except for illegal usage and military usage. And there's also quite a relatively small model at 7 billion parameters. So it's probably not going to perform as well as models that you might see like Flux, but it's still pretty good for that open model. Let's go ahead and wait for it to finish. And there we go. You can see the pictures of my cute rabbit running through a flower's field. Now I can see from this what people mean. The image generation itself isn't very high resolution. 
the actual pixel size of this was 784 by 784. And you can see there's a lot of detail missing at the moment. So it's not the best model, but that could be due to the prompt that I gave it. So let's try another one. I'm going to use one of the example prompts they had here on Hugging Face. Let's go ahead and hit Generate. There we go. And you see, I still think it's missing out on some of that finer detail. It's still not going to be as good as some of those models we have from Flux. But again, you do have to remember that this is something you could end up running locally, which is actually quite insane. What are your thoughts? Is China destroying the US in the AI race? Personally, I prefer a more optimistic perspective from Yan. He's a chief AI scientist at Meta. He points out that since this work is published and open source, everyone has the opportunity to benefit from it. That's the true strength of open research and open source. See you in the next one. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Pixie from Technique Force. Let AI take over your photo editing. Bye bye hard work and Photoshop. Create illustrations, photos, ads, logos, and more with the world's best AIs. One hundreds of ready-made workflows, forget prompts, just click and generate. 10 plus AI models, exclusive and secret AIs included. Generate high quality images with just a click. Create and edit photographs, illustrations, posters, signs, logos, ads, thumbnails, and anything else you can imagine with exclusive high quality AI models. Unleash the creative imagination of AI at your command. Generative AI is incredibly powerful, but it's hard to harness the true power all by yourself. Being a prompt engineer or expert is a task that requires serious study. Don't bother, Pixie does it for you. Create beautiful logos, banners, signs, and other advertising graphics easily. Need graphics for social media that stand out? Pixie makes it easy to create them. Create logos, banners, signs, and any other graphic you want in a matter of minutes. You just apply the name. Huge ready-made prompt and workflows library. Download in the size you want. Pixie supports high-resolution images. You can use them in your social media graphics, videos, or even print. Download the images in the size you want and use them anywhere. Remove backgrounds from any image. Want to remove backgrounds from your image? Do it in seconds with Pixie. Don't need to use Photoshop or any expensive app. Upscale images and restore photographs. Got a low resolution image? Pixie can upscale it and make it high resolution. Not just that, it can fix and restore old speckled and discolored photographs to make them brand new and fresh. 150 plus ready workloads. Click and create easy. No need to be a prompt magician. Pixie is your magic. Perfect AI calibration and control. Upload any image and rework it. Use every top image AI. Use them all. Searchable repository of your images. Get access to hidden and open source AIs. Get uncensored AI generators. And a lot more. Get the Pixie power to create the AI images that go beyond anything you've done so far. Choose where you want your business to be. Choose Pixie. So what are you waiting for? Get Pixie now. Just go to getpixie.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.